we all love technology and we need to pair up with the technology as the technology really improves day by day so this time of six to seven months or year is a really long time so we need to switch our devices we need to upgrade our devices in order to stay tuned with the technology so we do really change our phone after some time so these are a few tips that I would suggest you to follow if you're thinking about buying a new phone. The point number one that I would suggest is to copy your stock ROM in your device, in your laptops and anywhere because whenever a new phone is launched in the market, the ROM is not so easily available in the market. So if you are a really Android enthusiastic and you are into customization and all that stuff, so you need to take clear precautions over it so I would suggest you to copy your stock ROM in your laptop so the point number two that I can suggest to you is to turn on the Android device manager this is an anti-theft system by Android so in case you lose your phone or your phone has been stolen you can access to your phone by Android device manager and turn on the security system so in this way when someone tries to access your phone the phone gets temporarily locked up until a real password or pin combination is being, um, you know, is put into the phone that is actually given by you. The point number three that I would suggest you is to calibrate your battery. In some cases, you might have seen that after reaching to a certain percentage of the battery, the battery drain is really fast. The issue with this battery is because your battery is not really calibrated. You can calibrate your battery by First of all, you need to shut down your phone and you need to charge your phone till 100% and later when you use your phone, you need to completely discharge it to the 0% then again you need to charge to 100 that's it, your battery has been totally calibrated. So after doing this, you won't face such issues of battery drain. Point number four that I would suggest you is to root your device. In the past, it was really a big deal to root your device but today nowadays, um, it is not a really big deal to root your device and even the warranty is not really avoided. So I would suggest you to root your device. Point number five may seem a little bit odd, but I would suggest you to install TWRP Team Win Recovery Project instead of a normal bootloader that you have in your phone. So in this way, whenever you feel like installing a zip file or new update that you have downloaded from other server, not from the real server, so whenever you feel like installing, you would either have to go with the PC or maybe you you really can't install that file. So with TWRP, you can install everything that you want off your system files, whatever, by the phone itself. It is really a good software, so I would suggest you to install it. Point number six that I would suggest to you is whenever you are installing an application in your phone, I need you to check the given permissions that the app is really asking for it like just in case there is a really small app that you have only one function to do but still the app really asks for like GPS locations like many other permissions so do not really install that because maybe the reason why they have asked for this permission is to steal your data so I would suggest you to just uh, go through the permissions and really think about it Point number seven may sound a little bit silly, but don't save your contacts in your phone. You can save your contacts either in your email or make a small backup of your contacts in your SD card because you never know what kind of error or bug your phone, your phone may really face with. So I would suggest you to, you know, make a really backup of everything that you have and store in a better place. 